Hello everybody, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Amnesia, The Dark Descent. Uh, last time we left off, we learned that Daniel has a very big problem, and that I guess he's trying to kill somebody because they did something. Um, not a lot happened. We found our way here, and I guess we're supposed to make a potion of sorts. So we need four different chemicals, which I pro- Hello? I don't like the creaky noises that come from this game. So we need four different chemicals, and I'm assuming this right here is what we gotta grab. But for this, I'd assume I'm not too knowledgeable in it. No? Well, is that not how we do it? A oh, fiddle! How do we do it, Ben? Maybe we gotta find them around the map. Maybe it's something we gotta pick up. But, uh, before you continue watching this, if you haven't seen episode one, hi, where are you? Oh, okay, I already read this. Get me out of there. No, don't go back in, goddammit. Okay, so... Oh, uh, what was I saying? Ooh, hi, what do you got in there? A tinder box. Don't mind if I do. So, if you haven't seen episode one, I really do recommend you go back and watch that. Because this game prides itself on... Diving yourself into its story. Rather than focusing on finishing it. Which I find really interesting and actually really cool, and I think you guys should do the same. Oh, I can open that. Hold on, get out of my way. Open. Oh, another Tinder box. Okay. It's been a little bit since I played episode... Well, played since episode one. So, get out of my way, boxes. Goddamn boxes. Boxes everywhere. All right. So, it's been a little bit since I played through episode one. I have forgotten a little bit of what's been happening. Yeah, is that... Is that me speaking? Daniel, is that you? What's wrong, Dan? Jesus. These bugs. Squash them. Squash the bugs. Get them out of here. Barrels. Goddamn barrels. Donkey Kong. Um, I don't know what I'm actually supposed to be looking for. Or if there is something to look for here. Maybe I gotta go back up. Oh, and there's the freaky hole that screamed at us. Yuck. Okay, well... I'm gonna go up, ignore all the baby screamings and all that, and I'm possibly gonna find my way through and try to continue this story. So in this game, there's a lot of cool mechanics such as uh, sanity, which I haven't seen in the game in a while. Actually, in general, I just haven't seen it. Oh. Hey! Get away from her! Where was that? Where'd that come from? Ooh, that's not spooky. Hi. You got boards on you. It won't budge. Uh, okay, but that door looks like it's open. Oh. Oh. Never mind. Huh. I- Oh. Ah, oh, ow, my kneecaps. Wow, my ankles. Okay, didn't mean to do that. Um. I know I'm supposed to be following the pedals, or at least they have some sort of meaning. But, um. I do want to explore a little bit before we actually... You continue. Maybe we gotta go down there for the, the the chemical things. Which would entirely make sense. But I don't wanna. What is in here? Is this where I went from? Is this where I came from? I think I came from here. The other children cheered him on. His vo his name voiced in a steadily rising p pace. Gosh, English. Man, I haven't recorded in a while. I haven't been talking in a while either. Who? Oh. Hello? Whoa, whoa, why am I hearing walking? Okay, um, let me ignore that for now. And head into here. Hello. Ooh, a piece of paper. Of May, ah, more voice acting. Cool. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Okay. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, 
the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. That was one out of three. One out of three little notes I can find, I'd assume. Um, and I'm gonna make a wild assumption that whatever was in that building was not good and perhaps maybe cursed our main character here. Ooh. Hi! Oh, you're cool. Wait, no, come back. Hi. You're cool looking. I like you. Why do you got a knife? Is that a knife? Oh, yeah, it is. All right, well, take the stabby, stabby, stabby stew and throw you. You'll find out what the rest of this place looks like. Tinderbox! Oh, I forgot I can lean. That's something I can do. Uh, study um, let me go through the open places first. Ooh, a painting. Uh, not the secret behind it. Uh, nothing I can do there. I can grab the chair, that's cool. A little bit of protection. Um, is there something I can light in here? Yes, there is. Boink. Thank God, my sanity keeps going down. I've got a slight headache. Thankfully, it's nothing too bad. Ah, tinderbox. Sweet. Okay. And another note. Awesome. Wilhelm's contract. I hereby offer my full attention and services to Alexander, Baron of Brennenburg. This contract will reign for a total of three years when my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander, Baron of Brennenburg, is to recommend my services at the Prussian Royal Court and within the sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break the seal. Wilhelm, House of Gerich. Um, whatever that means. So when he gains his freedom back, I'm assuming this guy's in jail or some, some junk like that. Uh, where am I now? Uh, oh, I'm back where I first walked in here. Okay, cool. So I know there's a door over here, and that's what I kind of want to investigate as well. Light. And woo. That's a big room. Wow, okay. I gotta imagine the amount of meetings or, like, parties had in here. Hey! Piano, why'd you do that? I was trying to play you. Come here. Hot cross buns. Hot cross buns. Well, that's dark. Alright. I didn't- I didn't like that. I heard walking. Um, let me see if I can maybe find one more tinder box before heading in there. Hey! Hey! Who goes? I got a chair! I'll kick your ass! Who goes? Oh. Uh, oh. Blood leaking through the roof. Something I can light. Cool. Um. Hello? I heard you. Not very too quiet. Open up. It's the cool department. What's over here? Oh! Whoa! Much of the castle is oh, old hi. and hasn't been attended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Okay, so Mr. Whatever his face is, is just talking about the shambled, um, condition of this place. I'm assuming we're in the castle. Also, I just picked up ink again? Oh, I picked up oil for the lantern. I forgot that's something I could do. Also, who's playing the damn piano? Hold on, I'll handle you in a second. Ooh, hi. A map. Um, not really much I could do with this. More map. Get out of here. Going insane. That's why my screen keeps doing that. Uh, hello, piano. Told you I'd deal with you. Get out of here, chair. Shut up. And oil. Sweet. All right. Yeah, this game isn't. This game isn't too bad so far. I kind of like the lore that's going on. I'm kind of trying to. Oh, what? Wait. Oh. Oh. Crowd drop, but not breakable by hand. I need lights over here. I'm dying of sanity. Oh no, wait, hold on. I'm locked back here. Oh, that's not good. I wrote something in my notes. Wait, what did it say? 
Is it J? Wait, what was it? Notes. Oh, damn it. Must find a new way out of this area. Evidence in the laboratory has revealed that combining four chemicals can create a powerful acid. Chemical ingredients have been moved from the laboratory to the wine cellar. Oh, that would make sense. Um, I think I gotta throw something at this wall. Hold on. Hey! And that's how it's done. Oh, hold on. Now I can't get up there. Oh. Let me up. Do I need to use the chair? Oh, here we go. Hi. Oh, I'm going blind again. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Uh huh. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, Daniel. Yeah, Daniel. Never be too careful. It's really dark down there, by the way. Hello, demons. I've come to kill you. Oh, that was the last of my tinder boxes. Oh, wait, hold on. You smash. Give me that note. Let me see. Local folklore. Alstat and Brennenburg Castle, 1801. Another region rich with lore is Alstat, deep within the East Prussian woods. For centuries, there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brennenburg. The quiet forest clad mountains dressed with scattered lakes is a picturesque as can be, albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All the travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twist on the tales, but there are some motifs that keep reappearing. Okay. The Gatherers. This story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years War. It is said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold, dark woods and forever damned to roam the ground. The bodies, wrought by their tainted souls, have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have sided them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap sacks strapped behind them which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? A visit undone. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa, the well-known er erudite, visited Alstadt at the start of the 16th century. What a name, by the way. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight as he looked for remnants of kingdom's past. During this day, all the prominent members of society paid notice and he is mentioned in many records of time. One day, he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glades, only to never be seen again. Heinrich is known to have passed away in Grenoble some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Elstadt, which makes you wonder what really happened. There was this the mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlets in the woods. What happened to him? The Immortal Baron The Baron of Brandenburg lives a reclusive life with his family at this castle nearby Alstadt. And like most of those noble birth, rumors are inherited alongside with the title. Researching the history reveals a little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. Okay. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhinelands claiming the noble as a protector of the Prussian state. Alexander is the guy we're trying to kill, I'm pretty sure. If I'm getting the lore correct. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remain popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage. Therefore, the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is in fact the one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago lived through the time of occupation, it joined the coveted order of the Black Eagle along with the great leaders of this country. So, oh, I heard something twist, like a door. Um, so I'm assuming the Black Eagle some, like, secret society that is going to be very important later in the future. I mean, maybe not right now as we dive further. It would open, it's locked. Ooh. And we gotta find a key, very interesting. Um, just Hey! Did I do it? Oh, wait. Oh, I gotta do it to multiple books. Gotcha. 
What do I open? Ah, oh, secret door. Oh, that's so cool. I love secret places. This is awesome. And a wardrobe. Hello. Open. And open. Nothing. Interesting. Can I light this up? Oh, I have no tinder boxes. Damn it. Right, get out of here. Let me find some goodies. Uh, first one, second one, and third one. Ah, paper. Regarding closing of the wine cellar. Oh, the wine cellar. I need to get there so I can get the chemicals. All right. Wilhelm and its fools have endangered my... Uh, hold on. Let me... Let me get my acting voice on. <clears throat> Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough with their absent-minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the fort and killing my trusty servants. Just a matter of time until they follow the trail of Brennenburg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave or they will starve. Whatever comes first. They can rot for all I care. Maybe I will feed them some wine. It would, in a sense, solve both of my problems. Okay, so what I'm getting from here is that... Whoever wrote this... The gatherers. The gatherers. He controls the gatherers. So, I'm assuming the police were trying to get up on him. But something about human vessels. Interesting. No, I'm not. Ah, ah, ah. I'm hiding. I'm hiding. I'm hiding. I'm hiding. I'm hiding. I'm hiding. What the hell was that? Excuse me? What the flip of that? Hello? Well, what the fuck? I- oh, guess I didn't need the key anyways. Oh, I don't like that. I've got a box. I'm not afraid of box a bitch. Hoosh. Okay. Oh man, I need tinder boxes. I might go insane. I'm gonna go this way. Oh, this- <laughs> Fucking run! Fucking run! Fucking run! Close that goddamn thing! Fuck! Hello? Mr. Demon? You didn't have to spook me like that. I'm not going that way now. Huzzah, open. Oh, a book! God damn it. That actually slightly scared me. Hmm. Ah. Oh. Mr. Monster, are you playing the piano for me? Is this a siren call? Are you trying to get my attention? I got a chest for you. I got goodies. If you just politely not kill me. Ooh. <laughs> oh, what the hell? I was trying to pick that up. The sacred egg. Damn it. Okay, it won't budge. What if I throw something at it? Like a box. <laughs> I guess that doesn't work. Alrighty. Now, ooh. That door's a little bit warped. Hello, I heard you. You made a weird noise. Um. I don't... I don't feel safe right now. I'm gonna grab a chair. Huh? Where? 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 Why is the chair stuck in the wall? What the hell happened? What the hell was that sound? Do I hear something walking? Ooh, I don't like that. Ooh, this game's kicking up spookiness. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get out of here. A handful of sand trickled from the crumbling stone ceiling and pushed down on the brim of his hat. He braced himself as the cavern suddenly shifted and settled. What is going on? What is- I just- Whoa! 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 What the hell? What? Why this- Why is there meat everywhere? Ew! I- Ow! What's hurting me? Ow! Jesus. Head is pounding and hands are shaking. My health all is good. I'm not losing any health, but either way. Jesus. Okay. 
I'm not really too sure what's happening now. But, um, it seems we're getting somewhere. And we have a key, so I'm gonna go check if that goes to down here. I didn't actually check down here yet. I'm gonna grab a rock just in case. What are you? You are something something. Oh. That doesn't look good. It is tough and pliant. It can't be torn by hands or tools. Okay. I did write something down. What does it say? Some sort of organic tissue blocks the path to the refinery. Can it be dissolved? Oh, the acid. Oh. Oh, so I gotta go find a wine cellar at some point. Then do that. That's not gonna be today, though. Because um, this video is getting quite long. And probably should find the wine cellar now, shouldn't I? Before I actually leave. But let me go find that, and then I'll properly get us the hell out of here. How about you don't whisper to me? There's no oil left in Lantern. Oh, say less. Say less, how do I add oil? There we go. Oiled up. Out of bet it is. Old archives. That's not where I need to be. Where the hell's the wine cellar? Alright, well. I don't think I'm gonna find it now, but that's fine. I'll find it later. Um... Okay, wind. Thank you. Um, so that's gonna have to be all for today's video. I'm sadly going to have to find what I need to find later. Which sucks. But that's alright. I'm pretty sure you guys can wait. Oh, and I do know I said I was gonna splice um, the Let's Plays, you know, do Amnesia, then this, other game, then Amnesia. But uh, I decided, yeah, thank you. You can stop winding about. Let me move away from you. But I know I said I was gonna separate the Amnesia Let's Plays with, um, I believe Fears to Fathom, but I decided otherwise, because, um, I just want to get this game, like, through. I've really been interested in this for a long time, and if it's talking about wanting to dive into the lore more than finishing the game, then I think I should fully put my attention into this game instead of separating it into two different things. I hope you all can understand. I hope you all will still be happy with my choices. But anyways, that's gonna have to be all for today. If you enjoyed this video, please check out the other ones. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.